today we are going to study another topic that uh, rate of change of velocity so all of you listen carefully so what is rate of change of velocity so previous class we discussed that the rate of change of what uh, uh, motion rate of change of motion so in that topic what did we discussed what is the definition or what is what is meant by uh, rate of change of motion rate of change of motion is nothing but how much fast how much slow an object moves this is rate of change of motion so in this uh, chapter we are in this topic we are discussing rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity so in rate of change of motion what do we have studied uh, what is what is meant by rate of change of motion rate of change of motion means how much fast and how much slow an object moves okay this is rate of change of motion in this way what is uh, rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity means how much fast how much slow the velocity changes the velocity changes okay in rate of change of motion uh, what you have studied how much fast and ob uh, how much slow an object moves okay so in this rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity means how much fast and how much slow the velocity changes okay this is what you have studied so this is what we have to study so in rate of change of motion in order to describe what the, what is rate of change, how much fast and how much slow an object moves so to describe fast and slow to say when we are saying fast and fast and slow what we need what we need time is needed okay so in this case uh, uh, rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity what we need we need what both two what one is change in velocity another is time right change in velocity another is what time so let us check suppose the object a okay initial velocity initial velocity means what uh, starting velocity starting velocity is 0 meter per second is speed is velocity means speed speed is what uh, a 0 meter per second so finally it reaches another point and at that is uh, speed is or uh, change in velocity velocity changes to 100 meter per second okay initially zero then its velocity is increased okay velocity is increased 100 meter per second or velocity is changed speed is changed 100 meter per second another object b object b is initial velocity is 0 meter per second initially its speed is what zero okay final velocity is 150 meter per second okay so here uh, who's uh, who is fastly changes who is slowly changes who is fastly changes who is slow, slowly changes that we cannot say because here uh, changes amount of changes okay amount of changes is given amount of changes is given but how much we, which is fastly changes and which is slowly changes that we cannot say because here time is not given time is not uh, given so in order to describe in order to say how much fast and how much slow one one thing one quantity is must or one quantity must be needed what that is what uh, time okay so uh, in order to find rate of change of velocity or how much fast and how much slow an object moves we need two quantities one is change in velocity change in velocity another is what uh, time 
change in velocity another is what time okay so here only we have it is given what change in velocity here change in velocity what 100 0 to 100 so change in velocity is what 100 here what is the velocity change 150 so here change in velocity is given or velocity change is given but time is not given if time is not given we cannot say which is fastly moving or which is fastly uh, slowly moving or which is velocity fastly increases whose velocity uh, slowly increases we cannot say okay so time must be given here it is not a time is given so suppose suppose here time is given okay suppose here um, object a object a velocity of an object a increases 100 meter per second increases 100 in 4 seconds suppose 4 seconds suppose uh, velocity of an object b is uh, speed is or its velocity is increased uh, 150 increased into 150 in uh, what uh, 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds okay who is fastly changes who is slowly changes again it will be difficulty okay so in order to find simply that what who is fastly changes who is slowly changes so rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity means what who is fastly changes who is slowly changes understand so in order to find rate of change of velocity or who is fastly changes and who slowly changes we have to, we need two quantities one is change in velocity another is time okay here but uh, here both quantities are given for two objects okay object a what uh, change in velocity is given time is given object b change in velocity is given time is given okay so who's who's fastly changes who slowly changes object a from 0 to 100 increases into 100 in 4 second object b uh, it is uh, its velocity increases from 0 to 150 in 10 seconds so in both the case both the velocity changes and time is given okay so we can find who is fastly changes who is slowly changes okay but uh, so we can find so here uh, what is velocity changes here so here in one second what is the velocity change here in one in four second is velocity changes into 100 so in one second what is the velocity changes how can you find four, 100 by 4 what is 100 by 4 100 by 4 is what 25 25 100 by 4 is what 25 in 4 second its velocity is increased into or velocity is increased into 100 so in 1 second its velocity increase into what 25 in 4 second 100 so in 1 second 25 1 second 25 2 second 50 3 second 75 4 second 100 velocity increase into 100 so in 1 second what 25 so in 1 second its velocity is increase into 25 <laughs> One second, what this is zero second. One second is what twenty five. Two second, fifty. Three second, what seventy five. Four second, hundred. So its velocity increases twenty five. In one second, its velocity increases twenty five. Here, here what is the velocity in one second? Velocity changes in one second. So let us check. So here velocity increase into 150 in 10 seconds. In 10 seconds. So in one second, what is the velocity change? Uh, how can you find 150 by 10? 150 by 10. Here velocity changes into 150 in 10 seconds. So in one second, whose velocity changes? What is the value? In one second, how much will be increased? Uh, 150 by 10. So what will be 15? What will be 15? So its velocity changes. In one second, its velocity changes what 15. Here in one second, its velocity changes 25. Here in one second, velocity changes in 15. So whose 
whose velocity is fastly changes, whose velocity is slowly changes. Uh, object A fastly changes, object B slowly changes. So in one second, whose velocity increases more? In one second, whose velocity increases less? Okay, in that way, we can find who is fastly changes, who slowly changes. Or rate of change of velocity can be found by finding in one second, who's, uh, in one second, how much velocity is increased? Or uh, in one second, uh, how much velocity is changes? Or how much velocity is increased? Okay, so, so rate of change of velocity, or who is fastly changes, who slowly changes, can be found by by measuring in by measuring how much velocity is increased in one second. How much velocity is increased in one second? Okay, understand. So in one second, its velocity is increased into 25. Here in one second, its velocity increased into 15. Okay, so that we can say the object A. Velocity changes fast, object B, velocity changes slow. So, um, ah, in what, uh, what uh, rate of change of velocity? That means, or the who is fastly changes, who is slowly changes. The rate of change of velocity means what? Who is fastly changes, who is slowly changes. That can be found by measuring how much velocity is increased in one second. How much velocity is increased in one second. So, I am writing here rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity <coughs> or which is fastly changes. Rate of change of velocity means what? Which is fastly changes can be found rate of change of velocity means which is fastly changes which is slowly change can be found can be found by measuring by measuring by measuring how much how much velocity how much velocity is changed change change Okay, changer means increased or decreased. Increased or decreased. How much velocity is changed? Okay, increased or decreased. How much velocity is increased or how much velocity is decreased? Okay, in one second. In one second. So, by converting four seconds into one second, we can easily find the who is fastly changes, who is slowly changes. Okay, so by converting 10 seconds to 1 second, we can easily find who is uh, which is fastly changes, which is slowly changes. So here in one object A, in the case of object A, in one second velocity increases to 25. Here object B in one second velocity changes into 15. Understand? Okay. So here the velocity change of rate of change of velocity is object A is high and the rate of change of velocity uh, well, rate of change of velocity of B is low. Or the object A fastly moving and object B slowly moving. Okay. So rate of change of velocity or which is fa fastly or uh, rate of change of velocity or which is fastly changes and which is slowly changes can be found by measuring in one second how much velocity is increased in one second how much velocity is increased okay so or how much in one second or how much velocity is changed okay so in one second in one second how much velocity 
how much velocity is uh, increased or changed increased is is called okay is uh, is called acceleration is called acceleration acceleration is called acceleration this is new term okay so in one second how much velocity is increased or changed is called what acceleration is called what acceleration so rate of change of velocity or which is fastly changes which is slowly changes can be found by measuring by measuring how much velocity is increased in one second okay by measuring how much velocity is changed or increased in one second how much velocity is increased in one second is called what acceleration so rate of change of velocity can be found by measuring velocity uh, by measuring acceleration okay how much velocity is changed in one second is called what acceleration is called acceleration so rate of change of velocity or which is moving fastly or which is uh, which is fastly changes which is slowly changes can be found by measuring what uh, acceleration by measuring acceleration acceleration means uh, how much velocity is changed in one second okay it is called acceleration so rate of change of velocity can be measured can be found by measuring by measuring how much velocity is changed in one second what is how much velocity is changed in one second acceleration so it can be found or rate of change of velocity can be found by measuring acceleration by measuring acceleration so which is fastly changes which is slow, slowly changes can be found another new term called what acceleration another new term what acceleration acceleration is what uh, how much velocity is changed in 1 second or how much velocity is increased or changed is called what acceleration okay so how much velocity is in is changed in 1 second is called acceleration and the rate of change of velocity can be found by measuring acceleration by measuring acceleration rate of change of velocity can be found how much velocity is increased in 1 second how much velocity is increased in 1 second is called what acceleration so rate of change of velocity can be found by measuring what acceleration by measuring acceleration so in order to find rate of change of velocity we need two quantities one is change in velocity another is what time rate of change of velocity means what how much fast and how much slow fast and slow okay to find fast and slow we need time okay which and what is we are or which is fast and which is slow change in velocity is fast or change in velocity is slow so we need two quantities change in velocity and change in uh, what uh, Uh, change in velocity okay which is fast which is change in velocity is fast which is slow change in velocity is slow so we need two quantities one is change in velocity another is time in order to find the fast and slow we need we must need what uh, time which is which we are finding fast change in velocity which is uh, change in velocity fast or change in velocity slow so uh, we need two physical quantities one is change in velocity another is time another is time so this change in velocity which is fastly moving which is slowly moving that is means rate of change of velocity so rate of change of velocity to find rate of change of velocity we need two quantity one is change in velocity another is time so rate of change of velocity can be found by measuring acceleration by measuring acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is what uh, acceleration spelling is a c c e l e r a t i o n acceleration acceleration is the is the change in velocity change in 
velocity change in velocity in 1 second in 1 second in 1 second okay or 1 second or unit time 1 means unit unit and second time in unit time so acceleration can be found or acceleration is the change in velocity change means whether it as the velocity can be increased or whether velocity can be decreased when train when train starts from station okay starts to go from station then its velocity increases 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 and velocity is increased this is called what increasing okay when the train when the train what uh, about to reach a station about to reach a station then its velocity decrease 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 six again zero understand and it will become a station is or it will become rest or it will come to rest so is sometimes velocity can be increased sometimes velocity can be decreased okay when the train uh, starts from a station to go and at the time initially at the first its velocity will be zero speed will be zero when it is when it is in rest then it will it will what starts to move okay so when it is starts to move when it is starting to move so what will happen is velocity increase 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 okay this is increasing okay when uh, the train is about to reach a station then what will happen is velocity decrease 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 velocity means speed decrease decrease and comes to rest that means velocity is equal to zero so this is way in this way uh, what uh, this is what uh, acceleration or change in velocity change in velocity okay so this is acceleration acceleration is the change in velocity in one second so this is the definition of acceleration next we have to find how can we measure acceleration how can we measure acceleration we have a change in velocity we have time then how can we measure acceleration whether we have to multiply change and change in velocity and time whether we have to divide change in velocity and time whether we have to add change in velocity and time whether we have to subtract from change in velocity the time we have to subtract time from so what do we have to do with the change in velocity and time okay so we can find it so uh, acceleration so how can we find acceleration how can we that is uh, equation of acceleration how can we measure acceleration that means equation of what is equation of acceleration listen here suppose in 10 seconds in 10 seconds its velocity changes into 40 okay acceleration is the change in velocity in one second okay in 10 seconds its velocity changes to 40 velocity change into 40 so in one second in one second what will be the velocity change 10 second 40 so in one second 10 one second 10 two second 20 three second 30 four second 40 so sorry in one second 4 4 okay 10 second 40 so in one second what 4 1 second 4 1 second 4 2 second 8 3 second 12 uh, what 4 second 16 5 second 20 10 second 40 so in 10 second velocity changes to increase in 2 velocity increase in 2 or decrease in 2 velocity suppose it is increased in 2 40 so in one second how much will be the change so in one second velocity changes into velocity is changed into is changed into what 4 isn't it 4 how did you get 4 we have to divide the change in velocity by time change in velocity by time so we will get a 4 okay so in 10 seconds velocity changes to 40 so in one second what will be the velocity change uh, well total velocity change by total time velocity change by time velocity change by time okay so in order to find 
in order to find velocity change in one second we have to what we have to do velocity change in one second what in one second what is the velocity change that is called what acceleration acceleration okay so sorry in one second what is the velocity change that is we have to uh, what we can find by uh, total velocity change by total time total velocity change by to, uh, to, total time okay 40 is the total velocity and uh, 10 is the time so in one second what is the velocity change that it can be found what uh, total velocity change or velocity change velocity change velocity change by time velocity change by time okay what is in one second velocity change that is called what acceleration that is called what acceleration so acceleration is the change in velocity by time acceleration is the change in velocity by time okay